Hello, hello, good evening sa inyong lahat. Good evening everyone. Hello, this is Pastor Bong Bailon and here's my friend, Pastor Eric. Say good evening. Yeah. Yes, good evening. Thank you for tuning in to our uh, webinar. Yeah, this is part two, Pastor Eric, and uh, what an exciting time. Uh, the the last uh, webinar we did had a very good uh, audience and a good response and engagement. So we are thankful to the Lord for that. So we're hopefully getting we'll into the same tonight. Yes, yeah. hopefully, yes. Yeah. So so we are now in part two and. Uh, Actually, uh, the last time we were hoping to to interview uh, Pastor uh, June, right? June uh, Badai, yes. June Badai from Baguio. Unfortunately, his signal was uh, not that good, and we, which is really a, uh, it would be re really very appropriate because we were going we were talking about baby steps. But you came in and pitched in and, and shared your own experience, which was great. No, so now we're moving forward, and we want to talk about. Uh, you know, hopefully best practices, okay? And uh, to begin our conversation, why don't we pray, Pastor Eric, would you, do, would you do the honors of really praying for our time together uh, and also for our audience? Yeah, let's pray. Father, we thank you that with technology, we're able to expand our borders. And I pray that you have, um, that you would bless this opportunity to encourage our fellow servants, uh, servant leaders, to be able, Lord, to minister, make the most of the opportunity that you have given us. Mm -hmm. I pray that uh, you give us wisdom and strength mm -hmm. and that uh, this uh, we lift up everything to you, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We glorify mm -hmm. you in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Praise God. So uh, before we begin, we want to give you an opportunity. If you're watching, we want to give you an opportunity to, uh, to really engage with us. Uh, not just through uh, uh, YouTube or through the Facebook page, but uh, e this may be challenging for some of you who are maybe just using your cell phone, but nothing is impossible to those who believe. So just go probably to your browser or if you're using a, a laptop or a desktop, just open up uh, another tab and go to slido.com and type uh, C996, or you can just uh, put your camera there, the QR code, and it would uh, bring you to the same page. So go to slido.com and uh, type uh, C996, because we really want to see your interaction with us, um, rather than just going into the comment section, okay? So we'll get back to that. Just go to slido.com, um, C996, and you can ask questions. And we'll be asking questions as well, all right? So tonight, uh, Pastor Eric, we want to talk about best practices. And I was hoping we could divide our conversation into uh, four areas or four categories, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, first is would be the content or the creation of content. Uh, and then uh, secondly, uh, the equipment, okay? Okay. Thirdly would be the platforms or the channels. And fourthly would be engagement, all right? And we'll yeah. be asking them in a little while about where they struggle with, you know, in these four categories. But uh, let's start the ball rolling. Let's just uh, talk about, uh, you know, creating uh, content, okay? And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there are different kinds of or different types of content. Could you share your uh, insight on this? Uh, regarding well, uh, the, the different types of content. 
Well, um, as you, as uh, we have discussed, no, diba? first of all, writing the text. Mm -hmm. um, the text. Um, basically, we prepare to because we have to. We have something to say. We prepare mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. because we have to say something. Mm -hmm. And text is uh, one good way of just writing your thoughts out um, and just expressing it in a very simple way. Keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep it short. Yeah, text. Mm -hmm. But you know, pictures would be great. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Pictures would be good. Like example, online you could share some uh, memes or pictures that share a short message. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why when I post something on Facebook, as much as possible, I I don't just put a text. I also put a picture. I sure, look a yeah. Picture and then I, uh, for example, if I'm asking people to pray for me, uh, mm -hmm. I would get a picture of praying hands or praying mm -hmm. people, and then mm -hmm. I would post it with my my comment. My caption mm -hmm. uh, because it attracts more attention rather than just text. You know, when people scroll right. uh, their uh, through their FB wall, they, the endless, walk, they endless would go scrolling. past your wall. Yeah, they would go past your wall, and so a picture would catch their attention, and right. they would stop and look at your content. That's one. Huh? That's true. Of course, videos and it's good you would yeah. also be good. And it's good mm -hmm. you mentioned that uh, text can be useful because some people probably might feel, uh, you know, intimidated or unsure of themselves when you talk about uh, images, you know, composing images or videos. Mm -hmm. It's good uh, that we can encourage our listeners that even if, even just text can, can, you know, make a difference. If that's all you know mm -hmm. how to do, <laughs> you can start there, right? You can, you can begin uh, with text. I don't text know how and, to do Photoshop. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do Photoshop, so I, but I can write. And so I right. write my thoughts. And uh, mm -hmm. but you have mentioned last week about wall of text. Right. The problem right. with wall of text, people will find it, especially if they're using their mobile. It mm -hmm. might it might strain their eyes. And so mm -hmm. that's why I put pictures to catch the attention. That's uh, true. And then of course, yeah. if you're writing a wall of text, you put something like long read, so that people are warned. Mm -hmm. and, and, and of course, you have to content yourself if they would skip your post. Because right, it's right. a long text. But if you give them a warning, a fair warning, that is a long read, then <laughs> they would actually read it. It's a dissertation. But of course, <laughs> <laughs> but of course you have to learn, we, have, we have to understand, we have to understand the medium. Although we'll talk about that, but we have mm -hmm. to understand the medium because Facebook, Twitter is actually called microblogging. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Microblogging. And so we have to keep it as short and simple as possible. Although That's Facebook true. has this feature, yung notes. Mm -hmm. So you could write a longer note. And, yeah, you uh, can write like it, a blog. Yeah, longer, longer article there. Yeah, mm -hmm. And you could play with the fonts. You could put some pictures there in order to keep the people reading. So that's microblogging. Right, so, right. Uh, like I, I've used before blogger.com. And I have my own blog spot uh, or uh, blog. And so I, I, I write a wall of text. But mm -hmm. it's a blog. And, and people know the yeah. medium. It's a blog. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. If they know it's a blog, then they would, uh, of course, expect that it, there would be, you know, longer content. Right, that's true. And, you know, uh, a lot of people perhaps do not know this, but let me share one way that I uh, use uh, my sermon on a Sunday. I actually mm -hmm. repurpose it, you know. After my, per uh, after my sermon on Sunday, I create different content out of that. Okay, I create images, I create uh, audio, I, I do all kinds of things out of that, you know, one study that I did on a Sunday. Because I felt like, you know, how many people listen to you on a Sunday morning, right? <laughs> Perhaps not, not so many people, but I can probably post one of the things that I said on my sermon, you know, post it there and then use an image uh -huh. or whatever, right? So I just think that maybe our audience can be more creative in that regard. What do you think? I think that's right. Um, you know, um, a sermon, especially a good sermon, mm -hmm. deserves uh, to be preached more than once, mm -hmm. but not to the same audience. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> now, you could come up with memes, like get a quotable quote and just post it. Or, or like, for example, I, I post my sermons, my manuscript. I actually mm -hmm. have a lot of up to upload now. Mm -hmm. um, sermon Central. You could right, post yeah. your sermon there and, you know, mm. it's there for, for people to share. Like that's what one of the professors, 
Michael Carino is doing. He would post mm-hmm. his sermon manuscript and mm-hmm. share it in different groups on Facebook. I think that's yeah. one way of multiplying your reach. That's true. And if you're like Pastor Eric, uh, those of you who are listening, if you're like Pastor Eric or Pastor Mike, who write your sermons, you can actually get chunks of it, right? Uh, you mm-hmm. don't have to actually write the whole thing. You can get chunks of it and repurpose it and bring it out there. And also, I'd like to mention, especially for those who are, you know, probably do not have the uh, the capacity to watch videos, uh, you know, writing can be a very good tool for reaching out. Uh, like, for example, those who only use free Facebook, uh, you know, and they're not able to see the videos or the pictures, but they can read. Or the links. Because, yeah, because the text is free, right? You can actually use yes. that. And, uh, and of course, there are many other... Uh, channels out there that are basically text-based. Uh, this is not to say to remember, that, that yeah. the tool that the Lord used, writing. And so we also sure, yeah. to write a short uh, five sentences, a paragraph, maybe it would be good on Facebook. I would sometimes joke around, you know, when, when I'm whenever I'm talking with uh, people about this, I would say, I wonder if the Apostle Paul would use Twitter if he's alive today. <laughs> he would probably. I believe he would. <laughs> I believe he would. He yeah. would use whatever platform, as he has said in 1 Corinthians 9, in mm-hmm. order to reach people for mm-hmm. the Lord. I believe mm-hmm. he will use Twitter. I believe he will use, uh, a, a, he will write a blog. He might even have a vlog or video log. I think he will <laughs> yeah. use it. I just don't know if he will dance on TikTok. Right. And I wonder if he would also be intimidated, you know, to show his face. <laughs> I remember you were mentioning about that yeah. particular struggle of yours. Right, uh, you know, showing your face because you you had the voice, but you were not that uh, you know voice courageous. Radio. <laughs> right, <laughs> but the anyway, it's always radio. it's always good to level up. You know, for those of for those uh, listeners who are watching, uh, you know, starting with text is good, but don't stay there. If you can just level up, there's Canva. You can compose images there, uh, PXLR. You know, there's so many uh, free tools out there. Uh, you can use video, the, the phone, you know, right, Pastor Eric? Our phone right now, mm-hmm. the mobile phone is so capable of doing all sorts of things. In fact, my phone is, for me, one of the best tools I have for doing online ministry. Uh, some people have mm-hmm. not really fully explored what the, their mobile phones can, can do. Uh, what can you yeah. say about that? Well, um, like, I, I, I could not imagine my pastoral ministry without a phone. Right. Uh, I just thank God. No, it's easy to follow people, text them. But again, l- make sure that you understand that if you send a wall of text, no, mm-hmm. uh, it, uh, and if the cell phone is not a smartphone, they will cut it into chunks. Right. So you yeah. just have to make sure. Plus, you know, nowadays people have a short attention span. Mm-hmm, and so again, so you have to make sure that you present your case in in in. Mm-hmm. A, in short sentences so that the people will, you, you just bait them or, or, or catch their attention first. And then if they follow through or follow up, then mm-hmm. you could add more text. But Or you can use links, could, right? You can have a trailer, like uh, maybe a mm-hmm. teaser, uh, first few sentences maybe, and then put a link there that, you know, that says click this if you want to read the entire article. And it can direct uh, them to, to your blog post. Plus, in IGSL, in the preaching classes, we have been taught to summarize our preaching idea. Remember mm-hmm. your exegetical idea, mm-hmm. 30 mm-hmm. words, something? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then your your preaching idea would be about nine words or less. Mm-hmm. And that's a discipline that uh, we have learned from IGSL. Yes, in fact, yes. that's why I love Twitter. Then you are forced. You are forced <laughs> to really write in a few sentences. And, and, and during my preaching class, I actually encourage them to try out Twitter so that right. they be trained to write their thoughts in a Correct. very short or concise statement. Correct. Nine words or less, that's a good discipline. Although, mm-hmm. of course, I told the class that when you're preaching, you no longer count the words. But it's a good discipline. It's a good discipline because that's true. as uh, Andy Stanley have said in his book, uh, less is more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Less is more. And he's a master of and, that, you know. I understand yeah, he's and a so master we have to of remember that. that. We have to remember that whether we're posting on Facebook, whether we're posting on Twitter or Instagram, less is more. 
Yeah, I remember he was calling his dad, you know, a master of points. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because his dad would use a lot of points. Anyway, we'd li I'd like to, uh, for us, Pastor Eric, to interact with our audience. So I'd like to go back to slido.com. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I hope that some of you were able. Oh, there you go. Some of them are already commenting. Uh, thanks for doing this. Uh, looking forward to learn from both of you. Uh, yeah, right. thanks for sharing. Maybe like, I'll just look at that. There's some of them. Okay, thanks for doing this. Thanks for sharing. What can we do? What's this? What can we do for our members to be faithful in online worship? How can we make our own, uh, sermons uh, relevant uh, even online? Okay. Yes. Um, you know, I, I wrote an article. Um, I'll share that with you later. But basically, you know, what we need to understand is whenever we're writing, uh, we have to remember it should be need meeting. It should be, mm. uh, you know, uh, encouraging. Yeah. Uh, it, it should be applicable. It should be relevant. Okay. It's a, an then, acronym, near. Yeah, right. Near, and we should, so that you would near to your audience, no? Right. And we should, we should not... Yeah, need meeting, uh, encouraging, encouraging, applicable, applicable and, and relevant. relevant. All nice. right. Can so, I use it? Can I yeah. quote you? Sure, sure. <laughs> that's not, that's not inspired. It's just <laughs> an idea. Okay. But anyway, I'd like to just say that sometimes our fellow pastors, they would really like to preach hell and brimstone, you know, uh, on social media. And you've got to remember there is a place for everything. Is that a new verse in Ecclesiastes? There's, there's a place for everything, you know. <laughs> there's a time for everything. So, uh, you know, sometimes we have to understand if you are talking to people with whom you don't have a relationship with yet, don't try to preach, you know, hell to them. Rather, I would recommend that you try to attract them first, you know. And when they are, you know, part of your groups, maybe in Facebook or whatever, in your Zoom calls, then you can talk more about uh, the meaty stuff, okay? Uh, I think that would yeah. be my advice. Uh, I don't know about you, Pastor Eric, but, you know, in my, my experience, yeah. Is, yeah. Mm. Go ahead. My advice mm. is just to keep it short. Keep your <laughs> sermons short online. Because, mm -hmm. again, I usually preach an hour, 45 mm -hmm. minutes to one hour in our mm -hmm. church, mm -hmm. uh, especially if it's the second service because it's uh, uh, I don't have to worry about another service. Right. Uh, but mm. online, I have discovered that the shorter, the better. So mm -hmm. usually my sermons are 30 minutes mm -hmm. and now. And I have a manuscript. And one way to measure my time is that the, knowing how I deliver, it may vary from people mm -hmm. to people, from mm -hmm. preacher to preacher. But mm -hmm. I usually write my manuscript, 1.5 spacing, Arial, 18 font size. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, big. Mm -hmm. that's big. That's uh, big. Yeah. yeah, for mm -hmm. my eyes. If for I print eyes. it, it would be good. I could actually <laughs> see. Uh, right, when yeah. I type it, and then if I reach about 10, 12 pages, I know I should stop. I should okay. Okay. wrap it up because mm -hmm. if I record it, it would be about 30 minutes. 30 right, minutes. Right. And, mm -hmm. and our worship service now online, we range from 55 to 50 minutes. Because, again, it's easy to change channel. It's sure, easy yeah. to click another website. So mm -hmm. keep it short. Keep it short. Mm -hmm. Plus, um, here's my tip in our preaching class. Because, again, it's very hard to speak before a screen. Mm -hmm. So while you're speaking, imagine your audience. Mm -hmm. You know, one pastor uh, even did this, no? He printed faces of his members. Mm -hmm. And he, he, he placed the pictures on the pews. And he records his sermon in the sanctuary. And so mm. he would look at the pictures and so he brings <laughs> a smile on his face. But, you know, if you're like me, recording mm -hmm. your sermon in your office, I just mm -hmm. have to imagine the people uh, who are listening to me. I, I think of my members. I imagine that they're in, I'm speaking before them in their living room. And so it adds a certain warmth. Because yes, yes. Yeah. You, you, you imagine yourself having a table talk with them. And mm -hmm. so it will be more relaxed. Mm -hmm. You are not uh, you have to remember you cannot shout. Mm -hmm. uh, if you shout, you might you might experience some clipping <laughs> on your audio. And so you have to make sure that it is like an amplified conversation. Yes, in, yes. in our preaching mm -hmm. class in IGS, I always look for that. If if I encourage them to preach in a conversational manner so mm -hmm. that you would come off as not preaching at them. But you're mm -hmm. actually having a conversation with them. And so All right. it, mm -hmm. brought, 
people, people uh, now what I'm sorry, but people nowadays they do not like shouty pastors. Mm -hmm. They want somebody that just talks to them in a way mm -hmm. as if we're sitting in front of each other, although now we're physical. Right. <laughs> you're in Starbucks plugging, you're in, you're in a coffee shop, and then you're just across each other and just right, sitting right. Uh, up mm. Americano and just, you know, exchanging mm. your thoughts. I think yeah. that's one way to make it more warm to your audience. Of course, relevant. That's good advice. Yeah, when that's it, good when advice, you talk yeah. about relevance, of course, you have to know what, what their needs are. And so that's why you uh, as a pastor, I realized I still need to talk to people. I am not mm -hmm. to I not, I'm not to convert my office into an ivory tower where I I, I hear from above, but mm -hmm. I have to talk to people and feel the pulse and know what they're going through. And somehow imagine yeah. one best tip that I received from from Don Sunukian, uh, mm -hmm. one of our coaches mm -hmm. in preaching. Mm -hmm. He said, Imagine how it looks like in the life of your listeners. Right, like, for example, yeah. last Sunday, I start. By the way, if you want to see that sermon, go to YouTube, FCCF mm. Worship, and you will see my face there. So, you all right. See. And, uh, and the, topic, <laughs> the topic last Sunday was about feeling limited. I have a series on Romans, but mm. I decided since the government just announced that mm. the general community quarantine will be extended in mm -hmm. Metro Manila. So I decided that since I already finished my mini series on mm -hmm. Romans 14, 1 to chapter 15, verse 13 of mm -hmm. Romans. And so I decided to take a break. So last Sunday, I talked about feeling limited. And, okay. and mm -hmm. I started with an introduction about cabin fever. Because mm -hmm. many people are experiencing cabin fever since they're stuck, they're bored at home. And because mm -hmm. of that, I received a lot of feedback and they said, Pastor, that's exactly what I'm going through. So yeah. know where they are right now. Right, right, and right. Mm, the, the mm. We teach that in IGSL, how to okay. make your sermons relevant. All right. That's what okay. Feel the pulse. Feel the pulse. Very well said. Your... Very well said, Pastor. Now let's uh, just watch this video. We have a good uh, one-minute tip from our good friend, uh, Pastor Milton. Go ahead. One of the issues that we encounter whenever we do digital ministry is that we are very dependent on the built-in camera normally of our laptop. The problem is it's so hard to get a good angle of yourself. So when you have meeting or when you have to shoot videos with it, your face is filling up the whole screen or some, just the top of their faces are seen. Have you ever had that problem? I'm sure that we all have. And this is what this tip will help us navigate. Simply go to www.dev47apps.com When you get to this page, just scroll down. You can download for Windows Client. After the download, simply install the application on your laptop. And don't forget, you need to download the app on your smartphone too. For more detailed instructions on how to make it work, you may visit the link above. And that is our tech tip for ministers in one minute. All right. Thank you for that. That's great. Uh, let's go back to Slido because I'd like to just ask our audience a few things before we dive into the equipment side of things. Okay, uh, let me just uh, ask uh, everybody, okay? Those of you who are in slido.com, uh, where are you watching from, okay? Just go to slido.com and then type C996, and then you can answer this question. Where are you watching from? We'd like to know, okay? Uh, are most of you watching from the Philippines? So there you go. There's Quezon City. Anyone else watching from somewhere else <laughs> other than Quezon City? This might be the relative of Pastor Eric. I'm not sure. Yes. But maybe <laughs> I told my son to watch. <laughs> okay. So it's still Quezon City. Okay. Just try to use one word or two words uh, the most so that we can see how many of you are watching from where. Go ahead. You Although know, we'll in wait the for Facebook you. Comments, in the Facebook comment, Kuya Frank is uh, watching from the United States. Awesome. Okay, yeah, great. Coach mm. is uh, watching from Nepal. 
So, Cuello Frank, you can, those of you who are, you can just open, if you're using your laptop, you can just open another tab. Uh, you won't miss the video. You just open another tab and then uh, go to slido.com and type C996 and you'll be able to engage with us, okay? You won't miss the, the video. You just go back and forth uh, from those tabs. All right. Can we see, uh, we only have eight people uh, just commenting. Can you see others from the side of the Facebook? Are there people? Well, they said uh, like Sandra, Sandra Dublan watching from, oh, Makilala, yeah. Cotabato. Makilala, All right. Cotabato. Yeah. Where is that? I, I haven't been Ke there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Kyle Martin? Quevedo and Tipolo City. Mm, wow. Awesome. Arnel okay. Paras watching from Rizal, Marikina. Okay. Uh, good, so, good. Kuya Neil is very far. He's watching from <laughs> Estra 504. <laughs> oh, oh. Awesome. All right, great. Okay. And Nokdang is watching from Thailand. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. You, welcome, welcome everybody. You're all, all over the place. We're glad that you're here. Let me ask another question that is relevant to what we're talking about. There's uh, can you can we go back to slider.com? Here's another question. What type of ministry are you involved in right now? We just want to know. Are you all pastors or maybe not pastors, missionaries or you know, especially since we're talking about online ministry, we'd like to know uh, what kind of ministry are you involved in right now? Could you, could you just answer that? Maybe, you know, not necessarily all of you. Antipolo Digital, that's your ministry? <laughs> Antipolo Digital? <laughs> Interesting. All right. I've been joining the well, webinar. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you for that. <laughs> what type of ministry are you doing right now? <coughs> Sorry. What type of ministry? All right. We'd like to know four people, okay? Missionary, that's Missionary, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? All right. Okay, uh, we're waiting for you. I hope you would uh, let us know. We'll come back to this. So we'll go back to, uh, so go ahead, just answer. Oh, there you go. There's so many uh, leadership development. Leadership, yeah, children's uh, ministry. Prayer. Oh, we even have a children's ministry here. That's a challenge, yeah, you, you know, know, doing, you know, doing digital. Know, yeah. Yeah. In our church, we do Zoom meetings with our Sunday school. Wow, it's, that's uh, good. Yeah. A bit challenging mm -hmm. because, you know, how do you... That's why I'm setting up a studio, which we will talk about. I'm setting up a basic studio mm -hmm. in one of mm -hmm. the Sunday school uh, mm -hmm. rooms of our church. Right. Well, you know, there's so much to talk about. One hour is probably not enough, but we'll do our best, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just go back to our conversation. Now let's talk. You, you can go ahead and answer that question in Slido. We'll get back to that later. But um, let's talk about equipment because that's another yeah. area where best practices probably would would really come in. So, Pastor Eric, uh, just share a little bit about your wisdom there with concerning equipment. Well, um, of course, last week we talked about what is not in your hands. Mm -hmm. So right now, if you're watching uh, this webinar using your cell phone, mm -hmm. you can use that cell phone to have a web. web an uh, online ministry like doing FB Live. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I'm actually amazed at how some people just walk along the street and do and, and, and do a vlog, a video mm -hmm. log, vlog, mm -hmm. and, and they just share the things they want to share. Now, if you're watching using your, your laptop, I know many of the IGSL students, graduates, have their laptop. You can use your laptop and your uh, laptop camera. Although I like Mil Milton's... Uh, uh, one uh, one minute tip: uh, mm -hmm. You could use your cell phone as mm -hmm. your camera instead of your uh, laptop uh, camera because the angle will be very very hard. Right. <clears throat> that's why my laptop now is inclined. So equipment. Mm -hmm. So that's the basic equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, a laptop and um, your your cell phone. But of course, mm -hmm. if God provides, if God provides, like mm -hmm. I, I I I really felt bad when I learned that uh, the audio of my <laughs> Bible study live stream is very weak at mm -hmm. first, no. Mm -hmm. And so I, I heard that some members would listen like this. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. thank God they love to listen to the word that they were very patient listening like this on their cell phone. So I mm -hmm. invested on buying a, a good microphone. Uh, mm -hmm. At first, I use I, I cannot twist my laptop, but I, I have my BM100. You can buy it mm -hmm. cheap on, mm -hmm. on Lazada. You can mm -hmm. order it online. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a condenser microphone. And mm -hmm. uh, now I'm using another. Um, it's, uh, I, if I mentioned the brand, 
we were giving them free advertising. But basically, it's a condenser <laughs> mic. A good condenser <laughs> mic. BM100 yeah. is a generic term. A generic yeah. brand. No, it's not really yeah. a particular brand. But uh, mm. a good condenser mic would be good. A condenser mic, it actually gives you this certain, you can speak here, you can speak here, and it can still pick up your sound. A dynamic right. mic is what we usually use, but you have to speak directly to the mic. Mm -hmm. Okay? And uh, But the problem with condenser mic, you must have a phantom power or mm. else it will not work. I thought at first it will work. I didn't know about that phantom power. Now, I have mm -hmm. to, if you're going to buy a BM100, you should get a phantom power or an audio interface that provides a phantom power to power up the mic so that it will yeah. be able to pick up your sound. But if you're using the dynamic mic, what you use in worship, in mm -hmm. church service, that's mm -hmm. it. Now, um, on Sunday service, I use a headset. It's a mm -hmm. dynamic mic. The, the, the good thing with dynamic mic microphones is that it cancels the noise. Mm -hmm. You're usually problem. You have dogs, you have roosters. Mm -hmm. And so what I, I what I do every when I record for my Sunday sermon, I use my headset. So that mm -hmm. it's only my voice that uh will be heard and not the, the, the dogs. But during my live stream, I don't care if the dog barks. I my condenser mic is uh okay, good enough for me. So mm -hmm. that's one. You could invest on a good microphone. Um, because for me, then um I would put video secondarily. Mm -hmm. I would rather go first to audio to make sure that people understand what I am saying. Now mm -hmm. that I'm more or less satisfied with the audio of our Bible study, now I'm moving towards I'm moving towards uh video. So, mm -hmm. like for example, I bought a simple light, which is a ring light. That's why you could mm -hmm. see my face because I cannot yeah. rely on the natural light, I cannot rely on the fluorescent lamp. You look room. more handsome now, Pastor Eric. Mm. Yeah, it has to do with the light. Always remember in <laughs> photography, lighting, lighting, lighting. It's like business, location, location, location. Although right. now it's convenience, convenience, convenience. And so also in, in, in a video, if you're going for video, you really have to have a good lighting. And, mm. you know, you could buy a simple light. Or, or if you don't have that much money, and by the way, all of these are just provided by the Lord. Um, you could get your lamp and put a typewriting to diffuse the light so that it will not go direct on your face and you will not have the sunburn, <laughs> the lamp burn. Just put a, 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 a typewriting paper, a bond paper to diffuse the light. And then you could put it, although I have experienced that, it's very hot. So you have mm. to practice what distance. Just right, make sure yeah. that you're properly lighted. Now, if you're doing your FB live during daytime, that's good. Because make sure that you are facing the window. Mm -hmm. You are facing the window and then the camera is uh, um, as it's back turned away from the window so that you will catch the natural light and you would look better. Because mm -hmm. always remember it's lighting, lighting, lighting. Yeah. You have to look. So that's why. So uh, I, I got a good microphone. Uh, at first, uh, just to encourage you, uh, I, 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 at first I used my laptop camera. Hmm, because my focus was, <laughs> well, it's okay. Um, usually, camera and um, laptop cameras, unless it's you know those high end cameras, uh, Mac, laptop, yeah, like book, a Mac camera, uh, maybe. Yeah, seven, well, my Mac, my MacBook has 720p web, web uh, laptop camera, it's still hmm. not that good, mm -hmm. but good for my purpose as long as they can see me, sure, as long yeah. as they can see me, so it's mm -hmm. okay. So Again, what, what's, it, what's that in your hand? Don't focus hmm. too much at first with your equipment. Focus first on your content. And mm -hmm. then, you know, God will bless you as you are faithful. And so right. now I'm using, although now I'm using my laptop camera because mm -hmm. my laptop camera is 1080p. So it's more wow. sharper. Mm -hmm. But of course, you can use your webcam like what I'm using here. Here's my webcam. I, I also mm -hmm. have my webcam here. Mm -hmm. So I mount it on a tripod. And mm -hmm. I also use it as an external camera. So wow. that's one. But okay. you know, the best, like if you have money like Kuya Bong, <laughs> the DSLR, no, those big cameras. That I'm, just using Log I'm just using Logitech 920. You know, that's yeah. all I can afford. <laughs> I think we have the same thing. We have the same camera. Uh, yeah. mm. webcam. Uh, but mm. again, 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 um, as the Lord provides. Mm -hmm. But whatever you have, start with that. Right, Don't, sure, uh, yeah. It, 
like for example, if if the Lord provides, um, like I just uh or uh, somebody gave me this audio interface, so my mm-hmm. voice is clearer. Mm-hmm. Um, then praise God, praise God. Yeah. So, so basically, great. these are yeah, these are all uh, different kinds of uh, capturing devices, whether yeah. audio video, or video, or, yeah, or image. Mm. Audio would be microphone. Right. Get a good mm. microphone. Mm. Mm. Or, or or you can lapel. Yeah, you can get a lapel. lapel mic. A good mm. uh, mic also. Actually, mm. I bought a, uh, surprisingly. Uh, I bought this. I have this headset. That's mm. it's not other headset. Uh, I use a better headset. But I before I bought this wireless headset for seven hundred pesos only, mm-hmm. and you know some people think that when you buy cheap products, it will not last long. But until now, it's actually a good one. I have yeah. uh, so just look at the reviews. My right, take is yeah. that if you look at Lazada or mm. I don't know what you use in your in, in other countries, but here in the mm. Philippines, when you check Lazada just or Shopee, just mm-hmm. look at the reviews. Right. Just look at right. the reviews mm. and the ratings. Of course, mm-hmm. not everything there uh, will be reliable because some mm-hmm. of them would be planted. You know, they mm. paid some bloggers to do that. Sure. <laughs> um, look at YouTube. Uh, before right, you buy yeah. something, check YouTube. Like, for example, mm. I was about to buy this affordable mixer, mm-hmm. which is about 2,000 pesos in Raon. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's one place to go if you want to buy mm-hmm. some gadgets. Mm-hmm. But... um. It's like Sim Lim in, in Singapore. You know, there are many <laughs> knockoffs. Many knock, na, uh, knockoffs. And, and, and so, so I checked some review. And according mm. to the review, it's not actually an original mixer. It's an mm. imitation. So mm. I decided not to buy it. So sure, that yeah. review saved me a lot. So my, my tip is that if you're going to, sh- to buy some materials, check the reviews. Check Watch the it rating. in YouTube. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, check the reviews Those on are YouTube. Good. Yeah. And you okay. will, you know, save a lot of bucks because of that. Yeah, so basically, uh, for those of you who are listening, uh, Pastor Eric is sharing about uh, the things that he bought and started out small. I guess that's the main point here uh, that we are trying to uh, share with you. Uh, don't worry if you cannot afford a lot of things. But yes. for me, uh, the, main, the, the most important thing really is audio. Uh, you know, people can tolerate uh, fuzzy video, but if the sound Amen. is not good, uh, that would really cause problems. So, if you can, if you can save some money, start with that. You know, buy something. Uh, you know, I know Boya is good. You know, Boya as a brand is a good. You know, I'm promoting. I was trying to but, avoid uh, mentioning yeah. a brand. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, mic but, is Boya uh, M1000. Right, the yeah. Some, some mic Boyas is are expensive. You know? But if you really have the money, you can buy Rode. You know, R O D E. Ah, that's very that's, expensive. Uh, that's yeah, but that's uh, very. What's your mic, Kuya, Kuya Bong? Uh, right now, I'm just using a generic, uh, you know, diaphragm mic, you know, that, uh, not, that would be a not very expensive. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I also if have I'm Samsung. I have several microphones, actually, that I use depending mm-hmm. on the situation. Anyway, I'd like to just uh, well, interact with our audience again, Yeah. Uh, if you if uh, you may allow me. Uh, so yes, you're allowed. a lot of them have, uh, have answered. Okay, good. All right. So... Uh, and they have some questions. I'd like to just uh, go there for a while now. Let's just uh, look at the questions here. Um, okay. Uh, wow, there is a lot here. What can you suggest to those who minister in a creative access? Uh, what is it? What's this? A closed access nation, maybe. A closed nation in terms of vlogging or online ministry. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I had some friends who are you know, doing ministry in a closed country. And uh, I just told them whatever <laughs> you know works there because, for example, Facebook doesn't work in their country; it's being blocked. Uh, YouTube also, so they have to use other things like uh, WhatsApp and Telegram, and uh, you Indeed. know whatever works. Eh? You know whatever works. You just have to use whatever is available there. Uh, yeah. Facebook is also a platform for sharing posts on many social and political issues. How should we interact or engage with such posts uh, in Facebook? Wow, that's, I a... think that's another topic. But, <laughs> that's uh, another topic but just to give a short answer, I yeah. engage people on social political issues on Facebook. Mm-hmm. I just make sure that I I just exercise the fruit Dis- of the spirit discretion. in patiently <laughs> answering people. And uh, but uh, if it is not for you, don't. But right. because I'm very interested in those topics, I post on them and then I just make sure that when I engage people, I don't. Mm-hmm. I can argue without being argumentative. 
Sure, you yeah. can be mm. aggressive without being mm. abrasive. Okay. Yes. But it's yeah. important also. Sure. There's a question here. If we will be investing for online ministry, what are the equipments to buy? I think you talked about that already, right? Yeah, depends. No, so, depends. Like for example, for example, yeah. Kuya, uh, mm. if you're doing something simple, mm -hmm. you don't spend so much. Like you right, just yeah. buy a good microphone and uh, use your laptop uh, camera. And mm -hmm. of course, you need your laptop to connect to the internet. Now, yeah. if you have some budget, like for example, uh, of course, some of the things I use are donated. Like mm -hmm. somebody donated a backdrop. And so mm -hmm. I'm setting it up in one of the Sunday school room. I just mm -hmm. ordered a, a stand for it so that I will have a good backdrop. Although if you're using Zoom, you can mm -hmm. have virtual background. Yeah. Right? You can, like, you know, like what uh, you have, uh, yeah. this, this, uh, this uh, platform that we're using right now, uh, I, I sometimes use it. Uh, I, some, I sometimes use my phone. Actually, uh, we are using Streamyard yet, right now. For those of you who may not know, uh, this broadcast is uh, you know using the platform of Streamyard. Sometimes I broadcast using my phone while I'm in uh, Santa Rosa in the Valley, and uh, you know it just works for me. So <laughs> now uh, there's so another. So you have to have a good know, background. Then, if you're going to invest, invest in a good microphone. Then, if the budget allows, invest in a good. Uh, camera, mm -hmm. um, a, a webcam could be good uh, as mm -hmm. long as it's 720p and above. Like 1080 okay. is actually the ideal. Although right. right now, before our program, I was watching a review of a mm. live stream, a new mm -hmm. live stream camera. Although mm -hmm. it's a bit pricey, but you, you know, know sometimes again, uh, if yeah. God provides, <laughs> sometimes uh, 1080p. Although it's a good one, you know, sometimes it doesn't really. Uh, work in some platforms, you know, 720 sometimes is the limit. Uh, 1080 is an ideal, like if you're watching on TV. Uh, but when it comes to online streaming, that may actually be challenging, uh, in my experience. Again, like what yeah. you said, I would mm -hmm. rather focus on audio than the video, right? Yeah, people mm -hmm. can tolerate, as you have said, people can tolerate a fuzzy video, but they cannot mm -hmm. tolerate a, a clipping or, or you know, a poor audio. So, mm -hmm. but if you have to invest, invest on a good microphone, invest yeah. on good lighting. Uh, there's yeah. some easy to buy. Or actually, I just checked on YouTube. Somebody mm -hmm. have a DIY or do it yourself soft box. All right. He made it out of cardboard <laughs> and was able to make a a, a, a good light uh, a good lighting equipment for his uh, yeah. live streaming. And so you could be creative. And some people you use a white umbrella, no. So people use a yeah, white umbrella, white umbrella <laughs> with and, an LED and, and, light. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, again. You could you could. Yeah. Do okay. Some let me. Yeah. Style, let me, no? let, let's interact with this. Yeah. For a small church that are what are the non-negotiable that we need to purchase to be effective? I, again, it, we, we talked about it. You know, audio like uh, audio capture device, microphone. A microphone. You know, that'll be great. Uh, like I said, you know, the cell phone is already a very useful tool. Uh, if you know how to use that, you know, the cell phone can do a lot already nowadays. How much is a basic condenser mic? This one that I'm using is, uh, I think, uh, about a thousand or so. You know, this is not so expensive, unlike the other microphones. Um, yeah. And then you talked about highlighting your sermon or series. No, it's not highlighting. I said repurposing, okay? Uh, when, whenever I preach or whenever I get invited, and of course, I have to prepare something, right? Like both of us know this, Pastor Eric. If you're invited, mm -hmm. if you're going to speak, so you have to prepare, you have to study and all of that. So my thinking is, okay, if, if I did a lot of work for that, then I can use that again and again and again in other contexts, in other uh, purposes. You know? So I just repurpose that, basically. That's what I said. Can you speak that's to the technology? A wise yeah. use of your time. Right, yeah. A wise instead use of, of your time. Instead of thinking, like I used to, what I used to do is before, you know, every day I would, I would, thinking you know, what will i say etc by the way the key to content creation is regularity okay yes. regularity if you're going to do content creation on online uh, you know you have to do it regularly can you speak to the technology requirements of your audience thinking of igl students here yeah i like i said sometimes the only all you can really do is just text and that can go a long way <laughs> yes. if all you can do is just text right uh here's a use a what you could use right Here's my question, okay, uh, for those of you who are listening, uh, which aspect of online ministry do you struggle the most, okay? Yeah. Which aspect of online ministry do you struggle the most? Can you please answer that? 
uh, creating content, equipment, yeah. platforms or channel engagement. Mm, sure. Anybody, you know, just go ahead. Uh, feel free to. Okay, there we go. We see some uh, equipment, engagement. All right. Okay, so far we only have two people answering our questions. I hope others will answer. Maybe they're still figuring out. Maybe they're trying to. You know, so let's go back to our uh, to our conversation. We'll go back to this in a little while. You know, maybe they're going to, equipment. Yeah, they're answering. Yeah, they're answering it. We'll go back to it later. Okay, uh, okay. but right now I think we have another ad, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have another one. So, uh, uh, brother Milton, go ahead, show it, so we can all be. Ex in these unprecedented times, discipleship remains an ever-growing need of the global church. The question, how can we become faithful followers of Jesus in the midst of suffering and pain, has become more relevant than ever. The Gospel of Mark unpacks the way of discipleship in a time of suffering, as modeled by Jesus, the suffering Messiah. Discipleship in the Book of Mark in the Asian context is an online class for Doctor of Ministry program which runs from August 10th to 21st. The course explores discipleship from the lens of Christology and of the gospel as theological narrative. It also discusses the honor-shame motifs in Mark using the social scientific perspective, and relates how discipleship can be experienced by the Asian church steeped in honor-shame values, in light of the current needs and struggles in the 21st century. Yeah, that particular class features Dr. Nari Santos, my mentor in New Testament, you know, praise God, many years ago. Uh, I hope that you guys would uh, consider enrolling in that uh, course. It's going to be very helpful, okay? When you talk about the Gospel of Mark, think Pastor Nari Santos. <laughs> He's a great graduate from Dallas Theological Seminary. He's okay, a let's Mark go back to, scholar. Yeah, let's go back to the question again. Uh, which aspect of online ministry do you struggle the most? What do we see here? Creating content, uh, you know, and almost equal to equipment. Okay. Uh, platforms or channels. Okay. Uh, engagement, just a few. That's uh, interesting. I, I would uh, think that engagement is one of those major concerns that people have. Yeah. Uh, when they're doing uh, online ministry. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about platforms or channels. Okay. Maybe we can still have some time. I think we do. Right. Let's talk about that. There are, of course, tons and tons of uh, possible channels and platforms out there, and it's adding up every day. Uh, can you speak a little about that? Maybe a few minutes, uh, Pastor Eric, just to let our audience uh, benefit from your well, experience. For example, uh, we decided not to do our online worship via live stream, FB Live. All right. Because I know mm. people, there's a lot of churches that are doing FB Live. Mm -hmm. And I know that the internet can be challenging because right. you're not only receiving signal, you're also sending signal. Mm -hmm. Like, I, 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 For example, in, during the first months of our live stream, we would get cut off from the air or, or mm -hmm. we will experience some lag. And mm -hmm. so we decided on set that we will, that's before the pandemic, we tried mm -hmm. to do some FB live or live stream our Bible study, but mm -hmm. uh, we're having some problems. But I did at that time is to record myself, my, my sermon using my cell phone while I'm teaching the Bible study. And mm -hmm. then I send the MP3 to mm -hmm. Canada, to America, mm -hmm. uh, to people who were not able to attend our mm -hmm. Bible study. So I was, mm -hmm. I, I use my cell phone, uh, it's an audio recorder, and mm -hmm. um. Then, then during the pandemic, so we decided that our Sunday worship will be via YouTube. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, in terms of uh, bandwidth, YouTube would be the best option because it's uh, lighter and easier to play back. Mm -hmm. When we say bandwidth, it's the demand on the internet. Yeah, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, But during Monday, because we do a lot, we edit it. I record mm -hmm. and I talked last week about how long it takes for me to record a 30-minute sermon, and mm -hmm. then I upload it. That would be mm -hmm. another hour because the internet mm -hmm. here is not that good. I upload mm -hmm. it, and mm -hmm. then my editor, which is uh, one of our members, would mm -hmm. put it all together, the songs, the mm -hmm. message, and then put it, upload it on YouTube. Right, so it yeah. takes a lot no. of time. So yeah. for immediacy, mm -hmm. I do FB Live. Mm -hmm. I live stream through Facebook, our mm -hmm. daily Bible study. So every Monday to Thursday, we have mm. this 
daily Bible study for our church. And then yeah. Friday, I have another program. Uh, you can search it on YouTube, but it's in Tagalog, Expositors mm-hmm. Edition with right. Pastor mm-hmm. Erwin Amador. So that's every Amen. Friday. So that mm-hmm. I will have a rest time. So that's <laughs> what we do. That's yeah. what we do. Well, another platform yeah. is Zoom. Of course, Zoom. Mm-hmm. But of course, you have to remember, unless you could pay for the license, you mm-hmm. are limited by 40 minutes. Sure. But still, yeah. it's, so I, I, I led... Before I was before God provided for the license for two three months, I was only using the free one with the forty mm. minute uh forty minute uh break no mm-hmm. uh, uh, forty minute uh, limit and then we'll just restart the class. Mm-hmm. I, I at first I used that, uh, but mm. now I'm using a license one. But I was able to make the, the most of it. So that's, that's one good. Platform. That's good. So YouTube, yeah, that's great. And mm. then uh, and then uh, Facebook. But mm. again, you could just use your cell phone. Mm-hmm. Uh, since in the Philippines we have unlimited call, maybe yeah. you could call a family <laughs> and yeah, then ask can. them to yeah. put it on speaker uh, sure. and then you share a short devotion and pray for them. That's another Amen. platform Very great. that yeah. we could use. Uh, let me just uh, also add, uh, you know, some of you may not know this, but when you upload to YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, adjusts the, uh, YouTube will adjust the, uh, what do you call it, the, the quality of uh, the the video and then shorten the size of it. So one mm-hmm. one way that I use YouTube is I upload and then I download from YouTube. So when I download from YouTube, I, I get a smaller size, you know, mm. but the quality is not compromised. Somehow they just you know they reduce the size of that so that can be repurposed again because uh, we have an app and we have other places where we bring our our videos so that can be done also. Um, now, let me just go back to the uh, slide again. Please, can you show it, please? Uh, we have, uh, oh, most people are now answering equipment. <laughs> yeah. But we don't have time to actually discuss equipment. But yeah, but then now, get a good great. microphone. Get a good <laughs> microphone. That's the beginning. And then yeah. find a good lighting. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Okay. So let me see. Uh, maybe you have some more questions here. Um, do we need to have a mic for sermon recording? Oh, uh, well, you know, like, yeah, that would help. But uh, again, the cell phone, if you go to a good room that is uh, soundproof, uh, the cell phone can record. Uh, you can use uh, uh, the normal, typical, you know, earphone like this, like when you're calling, yeah. if you're using an iPhone, but you've got to be in a soundproof room. Go ahead, Pastor Eric. Uh, yeah, uh, regarding that, at first, to encourage you, at first, I just used the built-in microphone of mm-hmm. my laptop. Mm-hmm. At first. Yeah. And since I'm speaking like this, I'm uh, just an arm's length from my laptop, so mm-hmm. it can pick up my voice. But mm-hmm. of course, there's some sacrifice when it comes to quality. That's right. why I invested in a good mm-hmm. microphone. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want a lavalier, uh, how do you pronounce it? Lavalier or mas a lapel mic? <laughs> lavalier. <laughs> a lapel ma- <laughs> lavalier ba o lavalier? Anyway, uh, lapel mic would be good, but it's in the range of 1,000 to 2,000 pesos. But yeah. hmm. uh, a good brand, if I may mention it, Boya would be a good Boya. brand. Yeah, it's Boya is uh, a good for, brand. For mm. the lapel mic. Uh, yeah. It's actually good for cell phones, the lap- lapel mic of Boya. And so it could pick up a good... Uh, uh, yeah. your, your let, let, me, uh, let me suggest, Pastor Eric, now for those of you uh, who, who might be interested, if, if you record via your cell phone, you know, I'm sure there will be some noises. You go to Audacity, use Audacity to clean it up. Mm. It's very easy to clean it up using Audacity. And there are tons it of free. videos in YouTube uh, for you, uh, you know, how to use Audacity. Just type Audacity, you know, how to use Audacity. And they will tell you how to download it and all of that, you know. It's uh, a very, uh, regarding yeah. the room, uh, mm. you, can, you know, you don't have to buy expensive soundproofing. Just mm. get egg cartons, mm-hmm. egg cartons, and just uh, glue them on the wall, paint it so that it would look nice, uh, spray paint it, and that's it. Uh, 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 mm. uh, egg cartons would make good soundproofing mm. material, mm. so put it mm. on the wall. But, right. you know, um, I'm in my room, in my office, mm. and it's mm. actually, uh, it's not soundproof. Uh, the dog is sleeping. That's why you cannot hear the dog. <laughs> but uh, one thing I do whenever I'm about to record, I tell our uh, people here, please put the dog in another place so that if he barks, it will not be heard that much. And, I thought you course, said kill, kill the dog. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, don't. Love the dog. Uh, but uh, I use a good mic, condenser mic. It can still pick it up. 
So for my sermon, I said I use a dynamic headset. But again, um, don't don't be constrained by your lack of equipment. Mm -hmm. Use what you mm -hmm. could use. Mm -hmm. Laptops has built-in microphones, and so it can still pick up well. Sure, uh, yeah. But of course, mm -hmm. if you want to improve it, excel in it, then you could buy a good microphone. But if you cannot, just use your laptop. Or if still, if you uh, don't have a laptop, use your cell phone. Just right. stick closer mm -hmm. to it so that yeah. it could record your voice well. What I do sometimes is I... I I record inside my my car. <laughs> yeah, somebody so, said, yeah, yeah record I, audio uh, inside their car. Right, yeah, that's what I do sometimes, you know. And I just mm -hmm. close all the windows. Of course, uh, you have to endure the heat for a while. <laughs> okay, I, here's I a question. Some of believe some of the believers want to sit and watch in our church during uh, the preaching. Well, you know, it happens even in a, in a live sermon. I think. <laughs> So you, you Actually, just it have will to be improve. easier if you have a live audience. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a different dynamic when you're preaching before a live audience. But mm -hmm. please practice social distancing. Remember so, yeah. the three W's. Wash your mm -hmm. hands, wear a mask, and watch your distance. All right, good. That's a good uh, sermon outline there. You know, three W's. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a comment from Jeremiah Kwok. He said that new accounts using school emails are free and does not have a 40-minute uh, limit. Okay, yeah, that's good. good. All right. Google Hangout. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're running out of time. My goodness, there's so much to talk about. And, uh, you know, I have uh, this question I'd like to just ask everybody. If you can just go to uh, Slido again, which part of our session today uh, was most helpful to you? Could you just uh, give us a uh, good feedback on that, so we would know? Uh, uh, this may be the the last, you know, Pastor Eric. I'm not sure if we're going to be given another chance. Depends on your request, but this uh, this is our last part to uh, digital ministry. But I do have a, 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 a an online uh, workshop entitled "How to Do Online Ministry." I'll tell you more about that. Would you please answer this? Uh, which part of your session today was most uh, helpful to you? Anybody would like to answer that? Okay, we'd love to hear from you. Okay, uh, so while we're waiting for them to answer that, okay, I'd like to just uh, share with you uh, an article that I, I wrote just uh, this morning. Uh, so there you go, some practical tips. Uh, Pastor, uh, Pastor Milton, can you just show that, uh, share that uh, uh, page first before we go back to Slido uh, on that article that I wrote? If you can just put it out there on the screen, okay. Uh, you can just go to, uh, yeah, so what is the uh, the link here? The link is, uh, now nah, what's the link? I forgot the link. It has to be uh, online, uh, rlcc.ph. Yeah, rlcc.ph and then backslash. What is the link? Uh, that I forgot. I think it's then online ministry. Google it, how to do ministry online. Y yeah. By loan. <laughs> something like that. Uh, this they is an example of uh, content using text, all right? So this is just text. I did not include any uh, any images, of course, but uh, there's no video there. But below Actually, that, the article, there's... I read the article. It's very helpful. Mm. It's very helpful. Yeah. At the end of it, there is a link there for those of you who might be interested to attend my workshop. It's at the end. There's a, a link that you can click. Uh, if you're interested to attend my workshop, I'd love to invite you there, okay? So going back to Slido one more time before we end, where is that? Okay, do we have any answers to the question? Uh, what's this? Uh, pl plat platform and channel. Oh, platform. Okay. Practical okay. tips, how tos, technology tips, real life experiences. Great. Okay. Uh, how I wish we could hear from most of you, but uh, maybe you're getting sleepy. I don't know. We, well, let me just uh, have one more before we we close this. How would you rate uh, our session today? Now, this one is important for Pastor Eric and myself. Would you just uh, give us a rating, you know, so that we would be either discouraged or encouraged, depending on your answer? <laughs> no, uh, we'd rather see it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> see, very let me few, just again, yeah. Kuya, uh, while mm, they're answering, let me sure. just again extend my invitation if you want to, at least, I'm not an expert in mm. uh, open broadcaster software, but mm -hmm. uh, at least I know some basics. And if you want, you know, I just 
coach a pastor and his mm -hmm. wife by mm -hmm. a Zoom about right. uh, mm -hmm. using that software that I use for live streaming because mm -hmm. I saw how they do their, li their live stream. They use their cell phone and their PowerPoint. They just turn their laptop and then their cell phone will catch what's on the screen. It's really mm -hmm. very crude. Mm -hmm. But you know, I, I appreciate their heart for ministry. And so I offered them and I told mm -hmm. them, you know, I can teach you to use the software I'm using. And so mm -hmm. we did about an hour. I just mm -hmm. shared some ideas how mm -hmm. to use it. And then mm -hmm. the other day, I was uh, I checked on their live stream. It mm -hmm. improved a lot. Wow. Of course, yeah. there's still some glitches. But I, I, I shared with them how they could uh, use the software and they're now running with it. And so mm -hmm. I'm, st I'm still uh, open uh, mm -hmm. to that. Uh, my offer is still open. If you want, I can teach you how to use the OBS. Just reach there out yeah. and we'll see what we could do. Um, I go. can just teach mm -hmm. you the basic and just point you to some good tutorials mm -hmm. so that you could make the most of that free mm -hmm. software. All right. Excellent. So that, that's an offer from Pastor Eric. Go ahead and grab it. Uh, mine would be a different one, but I'll, I'll be talking more about those far four things uh, and really getting into detail about each one. So uh, if you're interested in that, uh, you let me know. There's a form there at the end of my article. Uh, just, uh, you know, register. Anyway, so we are wrapping up, and uh, I enjoyed our conversation, Pastor Eric. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your, Thank you for your experience. We learned a lot from you, and I'm sure the audience did as well, Okay. So I uh, would like to end uh, with just uh, a few uh, just short videos, if you don't mind, uh, you know, Pastor Eric and the others, those who are watching us. Let's watch these videos. It's so important that you get to know what's going to happen uh, in and through IGSL. So go for it, Pastor Milton. Hello, fellow ministers in the Lord. Welcome to Tech Tips in One Minute. One of the challenges we face in doing digital ministry is how do we put out creative, professional, and catchy announcements? In the past, it was very difficult and expensive to be able to put out professional designs, but with the onset of these new technologies, believe it or not, it's easier and cheaper than you think. Get your church announcements across better to your congregation more creatively, more professionally, and not to mention cost-effectively using these tools. The first is Canva. And the second is Snapseed. And you know the best thing about it? It is free. Both these apps are very easy to learn and use, not to mention they are readily available to download on your smartphones. Whether it's us making the announcements or we want to train and equip a ministry team for them to be able to do so, then you may want to consider these suggestions. That is my tech tips for ministers in one minute. In these unprecedented times, discipleship remains an ever-growing need of the global church. The question, how can we become faithful followers of Jesus in the midst of suffering and pain, has become more relevant than ever. The Gospel of Mark unpacks the way of discipleship in a time of suffering, as modeled by Jesus, the suffering Messiah. Discipleship in the Book of Mark in the Asian context is an online class for Doctor of Ministry program which runs from August 10th to 21st. The course explores discipleship from the lens of Christology and of the Gospel as theological narrative. It also discusses the honor-shame motifs in Mark using the social scientific perspective, and relates how discipleship can be experienced by the Asian church steeped in honor-shame values, in light of the current needs and struggles in the 21st century. One of the issues that we encounter whenever we do digital ministry is that we are very dependent on the built-in camera normally of our laptop. The problem is, it's so hard to get a good angle of yourself. So when you have meetings or when you have to shoot videos with it, your face is filling up the whole screen or some, just the top of their faces are seen. Have you ever had that problem? I'm sure that we all have. And this is what this tip will help us navigate. Simply go to www.dev47apps.com. When you get to this page, 
Just scroll down you can download for Windows Client. After the download, simply install the application on your laptop. And don't forget, you need to download the app on your smartphone too. For more detailed instructions on how to make it work, you may visit the link above. And that is our tech tip for ministers in one minute. There you have it. One hour of iron sharpening moments, Pastor Eric, and we're done. Yeah, so, uh, privilege. yeah, it was great. So, any uh, last few uh, words of encouragement and uh, whatever the Spirit of God wants you to say to our audience? Go ahead, Pastor Eric. Well, I would like to go back to what God asked Moses what's, mm -hmm. what's that in your hands? Mm -hmm. So we've talked about the equipments, and, and I, I could testify we could go on as mm -hmm. I tell you how God provided for our equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an expensive uh, microphone, but uh, God provided for it. I know mm -hmm. God will provide. If it is God's will, it is God's bill. All right. If it is mm -hmm. God's will, it's God's bill. But don't be constrained with that. Use whatever you have. What's that in your hands? And you know, if you read Exodus chapter 4, uh, Moses had the staff, and then God used that staff Mm -hmm. um, it turned it into a stick and then turned it back into a staff. And then later on, it is, is, it is called the staff of God. And I believe mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Whatever is in your hand, you have your cell phone, you have your laptop, start with that. And then mm -hmm. learn along the way. Learn bits and pieces. Because mm -hmm. the point is, we just have to start doing it. Mm -hmm. don't, don't end up with the paralysis of analysis. Mm -hmm. Do it. And, and see how you learn along the way. That's how I do it. Just learn along the way. Learn engagement along the way. Learn how to have better lighting. Just mm. watch a lot of tutorials. And so mm -hmm. I encourage you to do the same. Mm. But always remember, trust God. If he called mm. you to do this, he will enable you. Right. Okay. Very good. Very good. So uh, one last uh, view of that uh, rating uh, hmm. chart there. Okay, uh, you know, eight people gave us a <laughs> review, but it's okay. We don't mind. Yeah, I mean, we do mind, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, Brian, you might need counseling after this. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get counseling from, uh, you know, uh, who's that? Yeah, from <laughs> Grace Talent. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, anyway, okay. Thank yeah. You for that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, to all our listeners, uh, always remember that leadership is really all about communication. And Amen. that's the main thing that we have to remember. Uh, we communicate, we communicate. And I hope that we are really communicating better, even in spite of this uh, pandemic. Okay? I hope with, uh, if Pastor Eric and I uh, helped you in some way, uh, please contact Pastor Eric or you know register in my workshop uh, if you are interested in that. So thank you so much. Uh, let us close in prayer, Pastor Eric, if I, if I can. I'll, I'll pray for everybody. So our dear Father, we are thankful to you for tonight. I thank you for the opportunity that you have given us to really be able to somehow talk about this. I know this uh, resonates in the hearts of uh, a lot of people. There are so many questions uh, that they probably want to uh, get answers for. And we don't have all the time, but thank you for for the for the opportunity to just uh, dive into it, Lord, and talk about it. So, Lord, bless our, our our listeners, help them in their struggles, help them to just learn what they need to learn, as Pastor Eric said. So, thank you, Lord, and we just continually offer ourselves to you with all with all our limitations, as Pastor Eric said yes, also. Lord. With all our limitations, we just uh, offer ourselves to you, Lord. Use us, Lord, for your glory. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Please All remember, right. our limitation yeah. our limitation is God's invitation. Amen. Amen for that. All right. So many uh, preaching points there <laughs> throughout the night. God bless you. Uh, this is Pastor.